know each other. All right, here we go. There is some nudity later on in the segment. So uh, if you've got kids... Uh, Freddie, sit down. <laughs> I will give you sufficient warning about the nudity, but let's start off with the Tigers Warriors from last weekend, first of all. And you've got to love front rowers, Bryce Gibbs. He's got a busted ankle. What does he do when he comes back from the dressing room? He's looking for a seat. Most people would just go up the stairs. But not Bryce. He climbs up the wall, goes under the rail. Don't worry about the ankle. That's all right. There's an injury in the second half. Tim Sheen says to Chris Harrington, will you jump on? So that's what he does. He jumps on. And he keeps jumping and he jumps and he jumps. It's a long bow, but there you go. And Bo Ryan, right through the night, getting in this running battle with Manu Vadovay. Did you catch it? Now, he, Manu Vadovay is called the beast. What are we going to call Bo Ryan? I reckon we'd probably call him the beast bitch, to be honest. But uh, see how it unfolds here. I mean, Bo, Bo has a crack. He does have a crack. Yeah, get in there, Bo. Get in his face. That's it. He's only 120 kilos. And he's not that menacing. And then this time around, Manu, watch this one. We are. Oh, we are. And Bo says so. <laughs> A points decision win to you, Bo. Well yeah. done. You got him. Yeah, I won. I won. Yeah, you got him. You had him yeah. right. I, had a grand, I thought I had a grand final to play in a few weeks. So, um, <laughs> how wrong I was. Well done. Stuff you may have missed. All right. And out of the other semi, Broncos versus Warriors. Some cute vision after full time. Ben Hennett uh, teaching his son. A little fist pump there to the crowd. Getting used to it. You might have to use it in a week's time at the grand final. Show him again, Ben. He didn't get it the first time round. All right. Here we go. Yeah, now. Try it again. Yes, that's it. Well done, ben. Good stuff. A photographer falling over, nothing funnier. We think referees funny falling over. No, a photographer <laughs> getting the shot that may have been Darren Rocky's last ever match. And he goes <laughs> arse over tits, stuff you may have missed. All right, NRL tradition. We've got a tradition of audio stuff ups at big occasions in the National Rugby League, as you're aware. It's great to see it now it happens in the AFL as well. Last weekend, big semi, West Coast versus Carlton, standing by for the national anthem. Let's have a listen. We now present the Australian national anthem. Great stuff. Oh, I love that. Uh, the Rugby World Cup, Russia versus USA. I'm sure you all saw it. The referee gets knocked over. And have a listen and a look what happens next. He's obviously got a sense of humour, the referee. Good talk to them, both sides. Calm down. And you're getting my washing bill. That's telling stuff you may miss. Now, up in Brisbane last weekend, the fans were in a great mood, but there was one lady in particular that the Channel 9 cameras found that maybe stuff you missed. And I want you to take notice of the bloke beside her because he is definitely punching above his weight. But uh, anyway, she is going for it. She's having a great time. That, that can't be the boyfriend. Tell me it's not the boyfriend. He doesn't want to know her. And she's just got the lot. She's got great moves. Well done. And then over at the NBA, dancing in the crowd, the effect the cheer girls have on the crowd is quite enormous. In fact, that's quite disturbing, that vision. Wipe that off, get that off. But Sam Stozer, how good was Sam Stozer at the US Open against Serena Williams? And up in the crowd, look what happened. Not everyone was happy with the result. Here's this bloke going off. So what does the big bloke do in the white shirt? Yeah, get into it, mate. That's it. Get him in. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Anyway. Some people go along to watch the tennis, other people go to fall over. There we go. All right. Now it's ladies' night out on Stuff You May Have Missed. Let's get blue now. Not total nudity, but let's drop the shorts, drop the strides. Jason Nightingale, first of all, this is why rugby league, ladies, is the greatest game on earth, because players don't need shorts. What does Jason Nightingale do with what shorts, he says? You know what? I don't need them. I'll just get out of the stuff. Well done, Jason. Also in the match, Jason Nightingale again. This is nice play. Catch a bomb with your back. Probably won't catch on, but nice work, Jason Nightingale. The back falcon. Double falcon. Oh! That's a way to celebrate a touchdown. Oh! Throw the ball in there. Soccer. Now, you've got to watch this one closely. Good falcon, this. You may have missed it at first attempt. Watch the replay. Goalkeeper. Bam! That's embarrassing. And now we've got a falcon into the post. Watch this penalty. Great save by the keeper. You get a second shot at it. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that's so sorry. That's so sorry. All right. Now, sorry, Laura. I'm just going to have to raise the sign over your face. This is where the nudity starts, ladies and gentlemen. The segment is about to get... Dis no peeking. No peeking. It's about to get disgusting. Every team... We don't condone streakers 
on this show. We don't condone it, but we will replay it. This is what you missed last weekend on the nine coverage. Warriors versus Tigers. Out he comes, the 18th man. And I've got to be honest, we don't even need to pixelate this shot. There's not much doing downstairs. Anyway, around he goes. Who wants to tackle him? Who's going to tackle him? Now he's off. He sprints a little more. He's down. Now they get a second shot in. Someone goes to tackle the tackle. And off he goes. You're all sick. You're all sick. You find that amusing. You're getting excited about that. There was only one bloke excited about that at the game last week, and he's exclusive vision of the person on the sideline. Telly photo lead. See that? The, the, the zoom plenty. in. Got plenty. And later in the show. I can't show certain parts, but there's a couple. All right. There's a couple. There you yeah, are. Very good stuff. All right. Let's then go to some other streakers just from the archives, just to show that it does happen in other sports. We've had it over the years. Uh, let's start off with the uh, NFL. This bloke came out dressed as a referee and then rips the gear off. It's quite creative. Because people are confused. He's just out there for a while. They think he really is a referee. So I'm not saying I'm encouraging blokes to dress in pink at the games this week and run on the field, but if you do have some moves ready to go, this bloke just stayed out there. He goes for it and eventually they stop him. A very famous lunatic of the horse racing in Australia, this bloke. He comes streaking down the outside and dies at the finish line. Very good. And we love a streaker in a news report. She's live on air, going nationwide in America. Here we go. Hey! Yes. Oh, no, that's just... That's just I'll say it again, you're all sick. I mean, it's, it's just childish, immature stuff. Disgraceful. All right, the finish tonight on the footy show, we all like to wake up with today. It's a Logie, a winning gold Logie performer, Carl Stepanovic. And this week they had a little more gold. Have a look at this. They're all hypocrites. That's the sad thing about Australia. Well, probably. you know what, Laurie? As Paul Keating once famously said, they can all go to buggery. <laughs> yeah, great place to go. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Change of pace now, because it's time for some gossip with Richard Reid. Good morning to you, Richard. Oh, not much of a change of pace. I've been to buggery a few times. <laughs> They reckon he's... He's not gay, is he? Is he gay? <laughs> that stuff you may have missed. Thank you. 